Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. Before we get into any other technical videos this week and next week, I thought it'd be nice to do something fun with a Synology. Synology does allow us to do certain customizations with the login screen, so I would like to take a look at that. So let's hop on over to our Synology. This is the login screen that we can customize. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so we're logged in, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Control Panel and then Theme. And this is the screen that we're going to use to do all the customizations. First of all, uh, if we click on Theme, we can choose Light or Dark, and you can see that the difference here is in the background and our bar here at the top. We're not going to change that right now. What we are going to do is we are going to look at the login style. So it allows us to change the page title to give it a welcome title, a welcome message. Right now, there are two templates. We're using the lighter of the two templates. There's a light and a dark template here as well. And we're using a stock background. So we can change a lot of things here. First, let's start by changing the login page title to change it to WH's Synology and welcome welcome to Willie's Synology welcome message relax take your shoes off and stay a while we're not going to display the DSM logo. Now, I have in the past played with this a little bit, which is why some of these options may have changed. I think by default, the DSM logo is displayed. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Preview. And we get this nice preview of what this will actually look like. So you can see that it changed you know, the title here to WH's Synology. And then we get this message over here. Now, I don't know how long that message could be. Uh, but you could, I don't know if you could put some poetry in there, if it will go across the top. I don't know if it wraps it. You know, we could try that real quick, though. So relax, take your shoes off, and stay a while. There's no place like home or a Synology. So we'll go ahead, let's preview that. Let's see what it does. So it does, it wraps it wraps the text. That's kind of nice. So you could you could get probably real intricate with the text and stuff that that you you put on here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and that's going to save those changes. Now the other thing that we can do is we can add a logo. So if I wanted to add my logo, I would click this, and I've uploaded my logo to the upload folder. So you can see I've got this file here. So I'll go ahead and select it. And let's hit preview and see what this looks like. So it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad. Now it puts the logo above that text, but I have a you know I have some blue in my logo, so you can see it's kind of washed out there. So we're going to cancel that. Now what we can do is we could remove the uh, the background image by clicking remove, and then we could select a a solid color. So let's try this gray and see what this looks like. So you get the full effect, except for, you know, where these little slices are in the cable. That should be, obviously, should be white. You get the picture, though, where we're heading with this. The next thing that we could do is we could actually add a background image. Now, Synology does provide six really nice-looking wallpapers with this. Or, if you want to upload your own, I've added one. I took a picture of some net tools the other day. So I'll select that. Now we have the option to fill, center, fit, stretch, or tile. I'm going to stretch it. And we'll go ahead and we'll click preview. And you can see yeah, my logo gets a little, a little lost in there. So we'll cancel that. We'll remove the logo. We'll hit preview again. And I think that's a, that's a pretty nice... That's a pretty nice login screen, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. That's going to save the changes to the Synology. We'll click OK again just to make sure. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to log out. And look at that. We get all of the text that we had over here 
and if we highlight it, it does do it does do a popover. I don't know if that is for maybe screen readers. Not 100% sure. But you can see, and man, those those net tools, they look really nice there, don't they? I mean, that that's it. Synology really allows you to, you know, take some ownership by being able to skin this. And you could get really intricate with the graphics. You know, you could do all kinds of custom things, put a custom, you know, box around here if you knew like the coordinates of where it was on the page. And it would be it would be really fun. But I I really like it because it does. It does give you that that real sense of ownership. So that's it for this. I hope you have as much fun changing the theme on yours as I have changing on mine. I mean, you can get, you could just get wacky with these things, but that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need it consulting for networking, whether it's wired or wireless, even storage. If you need voice over IP consulting or IT security consulting, please go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we will get you to a vendor who can. That is our promise to you. While you're over there, make sure you sign up for the newsletter so in case this YouTube thing ever goes away, I can still reach out to you there. If you'd like to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to buy any of the gear you see here on the channel, the Amazon links are below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep us rolling. And if you want to support us on Patreon by becoming a patron, that link is down below, and I appreciate all those folks as well. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate each and every one of you, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.